Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. So of course I started off by lunging her and we didn't lunge for very long today because she wasn't really doing anything too drastic. So this is her bad canter lead way, but she did pick it up right the first time, so woohoo. <laughs> I'm gonna get on. <laughs> it's been a while since. All right, so I'm gonna walk her around a few laps both directions before we start doing anything. So now that her muscles are all warm, we're gonna ask for the trot. I could already tell by how fast she immediately started trotting and you can see it's pretty extended. It's hard to tell because she's really smooth, but it's pretty fast. So I could kind of tell this is gonna be a very fast paced lesson. So after trotting a few laps this direction, I'm gonna trot the other direction for a few laps. Okay, so now I'm just gonna walk through the little course that we're gonna do. Um, so we're weaving down the cones, it's gonna be in a trot. And then when we get to the end of the cones, we're gonna canter and then canter around the barrel and then bring her back down to a trot and then do the same thing. But if you do it right, you should end up on different sides of the, the arena each time. So yeah. Huh? Okay, so now we're just gonna do it at a trot. Okay, so now we're gonna do the thing like for real, so trotting down this way and then canter. When I asked her to canter, she kind of came off the rail, so I just circled her back around and retried. So now bringing her back down into the trot and doing the cones this way. Something about Ruger that definitely showed today is she gets very anxious and like really wants to please people. So she kind of anticipates what you're going to ask her to do. So she like if you do walk, trot, canter, warm up and then you get into what you're doing for the day, kind of like we did here. She gets really excited and when you want her to trot, she tries to canter and she'll just like really, really collect her canter or do what we call tanter and do a trot canter thing. And so she wasn't really listening very well because she just wanted to canter off. So we kind of failed going the other direction, but I just brought her back around this way and tried again and this was a lot better.
You can really see here how bad it is and how she just really wants to canter and her head's all high and stuff. But again, like I said before, something about Ruger is if you just like continue to pull back or try to collect her or something, she just goes faster and faster and faster. And so okay. you have to do like little half halts to get her to slow down and the canter and stuff like that. So we failed that direction, but we're just trying again and she just cantered off that way. So I just made her whoa because she needs to know that's not okay and she can't just take off whenever she wants to. So I made her whoa and then back up for a few steps. Okay, so same thing happened there. She kind of just cantered off. The first few cones were really good in the chop, but then she cantered, so I just made her wool and then back up. Instead of completely starting over, I just went back to where we were and then went on. And so I let her canter there, and then she started speeding up a little bit, so I did half holds, but I forgot to do my circle around the barrel. Or I don't really know if I forgot, but I didn't do it. I think I just wasn't mentally prepared for it. Um, so I also miss my cones there because she's still cantering here. And she was either walking or cantering, like super collected cantering, but still cantering. And she was like not trotting. And so I was like, girl, you need to trot. And then so I like just went up and down the cones a few times trying to get her to trot and doing like little half holts when she would try to canter. So like here, like half holt and then get her to trot like she's mm -hmm. now, which is good. And then just circling back and did that a few times. Easy. 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 Trot. 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 Okay, so after she relaxed a little bit, I went again and asked her to canter and then went around my barrel. You can see she's going pretty fast here. Um, I'll insert some clips of what it looks like. Oh. Oh. oh, you're breaking your wrist, ma'am. 
Oh. Oh. Look your wrists. Where's your ice cream? You have a cup of water. There you go. Oh. Oh. Trot. Oh. Trot. Trot. Enter. Easy. Whoa. Whoa. You're breaking your wrist. Trot. Trot. Easy. Easy. This is Ruger's bad lead, her bad side, and she almost never oh. picks it up right. And of course, she picked it up wrong. And so I tried to correct it, but my instructor was like, it's fine, it's fine. But I was worried about going around the barrel that she's gonna like fall or something. And so I was pulling back with oh. both reins without even realizing it. And so that's why she kind of just did that instead oh. of going around the barrel. That was oh. completely my fault. I'm sure it would have been fine, but I don't know. I just don't want to risk it. All right, so now I'm just gonna give her a little walk break for a few minutes. Trot. As soon as I asked for that trot, trot. she went right into the canter. Again, this is also her bad lead, and so she picked up the wrong lead. But she, we really need to work on pacing her more, and I need to work on helping her pace herself more. And that's definitely one of our biggest problems and one of our biggest issues that we're having with each other right now is how anxious she gets. And so, yeah. Trot. Right now, it might look like she's trotting with her head bobbing like that, but she is tantering. She is trot huh? cantering. Now she's just cantering. My instructor said I could just let her canter. She is on the wrong lead still, but it's fine. She is going pretty fast, so I'm just trying to do little half holds, but she's not really listening. <laughs> She's coming back down a little bit now, but then she just speeds up on the long parts. But she's listening a little bit. <laughs> as long as I have some breaks, we're okay for right now, right? Um, but yeah, I asked her to collect a lot more and she came back down really well right there. So I was happy with that. All right, so now I switched directions. I'm not asking her to canter. She's just trotting really fast. So here is where I asked her to canter. And she came off the rail again. I don't know why she always does that going this direction, but I just took her around, circled her back, and yeah.
just gonna walk her out for a while. She got pretty sweaty, so make sure she gets all nice and cooled down and dried off. Oh. Oh. Here we go, I give 2.26 thousand. Well, I thought we were like less than a thousand the last time I talked. Yeah, now she's over 2,000. Woohoo. If it makes you feel better, I think I have like three or four hundred TikTok followers. So. I have like a three hundred and ninety two. <laughs> I have, who has like three videos. He has like 20 videos. Like hardly any likes has, does he have like over a thousand followers? Yeah, he has almost 2,000. You do nothing. I'm never sorry coming. Didn't think you'd wake me with a kiss. Like this way until the sky was falling. And my prayers are every single song. Oh my mind, I'm never sorry coming. All right, guys, I forgot to plug in my GoPro until like 30 minutes before my lesson started. So <laughs> it's not very charged, so it died um, like in a few seconds. So that's where I'm going to wrap up today's video. So I hope you enjoyed. Come back next week for another one. Bye, guys.